Hi guys, welcome to the Mass Tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at volume. Now before we start, I'd just like to introduce the new competition that we're having to win £250 each month for the whole of 2021. Full details will be given at the end of this video, so make sure you watch all the way through till the end. So if we take a quick overview, the volume of shapes accounts for 3D rather than 2D structures. The units of volume are to the power 3, usually centimetres cubed or metres cubed. Most formulas you don't have to remember as they will be given to you in the formula sheet, with the exception of 2, and we'll see these two in just a second. So the formulas that you have to know is the cube and a cuboid, and they are as follows. So a cube, by definition, all the sides are the same length. So all you have to do is take one of the lengths, because they are all the same, and cube it. That will give you, so if the length is, say, centimetres, then when you cube it, you will have your centimetres cubed. And likewise, the cuboid... All you have to do is multiply the length by the breadth by the height. Because here, this would be centimetres, centimetres, centimetres. And these three times together will give you the centimetres cubed. Now the ones that you don't have to remember that will be given to you in the formula sheet are the volume of a sphere, a cone and a pyramid. So just remember if you see one of these in the question, be sure to come back to the formula sheet and use the, the correct formula. So if we take a look at question number one, it says find the volume of the cone which has a height of 25 centimetres and a radius of 15 centimetres. Give your answer to three significant figures. And this is just a generic cone here of H and R. So H being 25 and R being 15. So if we write out the appropriate formula, so from the formula sheet, the volume of a cone is a third pi r squared times h. So if we define what r is, which is 15, and we define what h is, which is 25, then we can substitute these into the volume equation. And that will give us V equals 5890.486. Now, the constraint here is that we have to three significant figures. So that means that we have to simplify this section here. So to three significant figures is 5890 centimetres cubed. And that's how you would go about finding the volume of a cone based off its height and its radius. So if we take a look at question number two, question number two says a sphere has a volume of 1,440 centimetres cubed. Determine the diameter of the sphere. So this one is working backwards. It's given us the volume and asking us to find the radius. Now, the process is exactly the same regardless of the shape. So it could be a cone, it could be a pyramid. The process is the same. So, the first thing we'll do is we'll write out the formula for the volume of a sphere. And this is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Now, we will substitute in the information that it has gave us. So, we'll substitute in the 1440. And we can see here that the only unknown is r cubed. So, what we can do is rearrange for r. So we change the subject of the formula. Now I'll put a link in the description on our video to change the subject to the formula that you can have a look just in case this is a bit challenging for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the 1440 times 3 because this is divide so that will go over as times and then we'll divide it by 4 pi. And that will give us an r cubed value of 343.77. Now we have to get the cubed across to the other side, so that will go over as the cubed root. So the cubed root of 343.77 gives us a radius of 7. So the question asks for the diameter. 
so the diameter is always two times the radius. So in this case, the diameter would be 14 centimeters. And that's how you would go about solving that problem there. That's a working backwards question. So now it is your turn. Uh, in order to qualify for the £250 draw at the end of each month in 2021, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and comment the correct answer to this question in the comment section below. Only valid subscribers with the correct answer will be entered into the draw. So this question says a toy company makes juggling balls in the shape of a sphere with a diameter of 6.4 centimetres. We need to calculate the volume of one juggling ball and give your answer correct to two significant figures. So this one is very much the same as question number one with the exception it is a different shape. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave any comments in the comment section below, including the answer to the final question. And we'll see you in the next video.